Hi Floss Tube, this is Donna Wilson or Wistful coming to you from New Zealand. So I just thought I'd show you the uh, MH1656 or My Beloved's gift by Hands Across the Sea. So that's one of the items I'm working on. So this is the weekly update. So I'm just going to switch this around shortly. That's my stitchy spot. Just so you can get an idea and I got the TV and everything all hooked up so I'm just going to switch the camera around and hopefully things don't fall to bits so I keep pressing the wrong button so hopefully you can see me for what it's worth I'm also working on Sierra Brazil of course um, and this is a hands another hands across the sea and I'm doing page, currently page 17, so that's taking a wee bit, and it's coming across um, fairly good, although I always do too many other things, so uh, I like to say I'm a, like a magpie. So this is uh, Hands Across the Sea, and I'm currently working on this page here. And I did a bit of the... Um, What's it called? The bower? Uh, the, the arch. So I'm doing this side here. And that's come out quite nice. So I uh, don't get as much time as I'd like, but I have to sleep occasionally and do stuff like that. The other one that I'm doing is a year uh, at Hawk Run Hollow. And I'm still working on January, so I'm a bit sluggish on this. So uh, that's the one that I'm currently working. And of course, it is February, so I can go straight into February. And that's by Carriage House Samplings. And this is the pro progress. So quite pleased with it. And that's 32 count uh, Lagana. And I think it's... forget what color it was, but... It's there. And the other one that I've been doing that um, I dug out, Death by Cross Stitch, uh, my long dog sampler. And uh, this one I'd put away for a while. So I've dug that back out and I'm currently doing it. And uh, it's been good. Uh, so I'm still on page one. Roll on. But it'll take me ages. I said it'll be another biggie. And then, as if I didn't have enough to do, I decided uh, to join the 2019 Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler, which is a Peacock's Garden. And this is part one. They send out one a month. And so, oh, it took me ages. I started this quite late. Uh, and this is my peacock, and I've called it Sir James II. I figured he was regal enough, and I had some crinic uh, for parts of that, so that uh, was interesting. So, enjoying that, um, and I'll be working up more on that later, um, probably today. And then... I also decided to do um, looking for the chart, which I placed somewhere. <clears throat> it's um, fallen down. Design works. And it's at a Rondack Lodge. Very pretty sampler that I started ages ago. So. <clears throat> take this one to Guild and work on it a bit. And I've done the bear and the tree and I'm starting on a deer. And this one I'll be working on this week too. Because part of what spurred me on, and this is one of the Challenge 9 pieces. A couple of these are. <coughs> and uh, that should be fun. I, I joined the School of Magical... Um, Stitches, um, 
and literature, and so that's kept me busy. So I've started uh, doing all sorts of things, watching Harry Potter and doing various stitching, and sort of <clears throat> sort of revitalized my stitching bug as if it needed it. Um, and that's been kind of fun. And the reading list has been a challenge. Uh, they've asked for all sorts of things like um, reading something that had a vehicle on the cover and a, a book and um, reading various things. So they send out various challenges. So I went to the library <coughs> and <laughs> made uh, good use of a librarian's. Um, I'm certain they had a bit of a laugh. Because one of them is to find a book where the main where a character is a snake. And I don't know about you, but I don't usually read books with characters that are snakes. So, um, but she found one, and there were two librarians that were helping, and so I had a lot of fun. So I'm part of Slytherin House. If any of you, the rest of you are, so let me know. Um, it's been quite fun. So. Uh, bar that, I've um, decided to try and curb my spending a bit, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but so far, so good. You know, the peacock's garden was all with the leftover threads that I had. Now, I will be doing, I'm just reaching over here, I just remembered what I will be working on this month. I will at least have to do some stitches in it. This is the Laura Standish uh, sampler. I've shown this before, but I haven't pulled it out, so I'll pull this out again. So um, it's put out put out by the Exemplary and um, the Pilgrim Society. So. It's the oldest surviving um, sampler uh, in America. So that's where I currently am. So I, I've done quite a bit. And I love working on this. So I'll just have to find um, a good excuse to bring it, bring it out. I could have done it, but it's not one of my challenge pieces. So I want to get some of those challenge pieces done. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully that doesn't, so that should be fun. I just love to even touch it, This, what it's like when you've got uh, some projects you really like. So I'll be doing some various things, so um, I'll show you one that I brought out. Uh, one of the challenges is for a scary animal. So I will be digging out this one. Well, I already dug it out, but I'll be working on putting 500 stitches in my Puma. And this was, um, I'll bring it closer so you can actually see, but it's uh, put out by Nature's Window. It's called Mountain Cat or Puma. And this I've had for ages. So good excuse to bring out the projects so I'll be working a bit on this I'll put in because it's scary I will only have to do 200 stitches but hey 200 stitches is more than pro what I've done recently on it which is none um, so that'll be good so I'm looking forward to that and another one that I will be working on that I've decided for the some of the extra credits is um, the village of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Sampling. And I trying hard not to drop things. That's where I started with that. So I've got some beautiful samplers I'll be working on. I'm croaky today. Um, and hopefully I can make some good progress. Sort of uh, stirs me up. But uh, some of the crazy books that I've gotten, I 
found one. So I'll be reading that one, that one, that one. Oops, that's the snake one. If I do it the right side, you can actually see it. See it. <laughs> so <clears throat> that'll keep me busy. And I'm listening to one of the um, books um, that I can that I've gotten on uh, the audio books from the library. So that's uh, that's quite handy because I can do that when I'm doing other stuff. And so that's good. And um, so that's what I'm up to. I've only bought two bits of floss, which are some etoile, and oh no, four bits. Um, two other for the cerebrasia. So that was good. And um, otherwise, I've been pretty good with trying to stitch from stash. But mind you, I've got a lot of stash and a lot of um, projects. At the moment, I've still got 88 projects on the go. Those are the current whips. And I've got more that are kitted up. So hopefully I can uh, get some of them knocked out with this. I hope you all have a good time stitching. I know I will. So I'm going to go back and get out my calculator and work some more on uh, one of my projects. Um, currently I'm working on Death by Cross Stitch. So I'll do the 500 on that and then I'll start on something else. So uh, if you, you like it, um, hit the like and subscribe and I'll try and keep it to um, weekly if I can but otherwise um, at the most it might be monthly so we'll just see how we go with this and I'll let you know how I'm coping at this stage um, I haven't decided what to do with many I think I've got enough going on at the moment without it uh, worrying about it. The other one that I also did that I just thought of is sorry about the back of the head. Uh, the others I haven't made too much of a progress. one more. Who knows? Uh, hunting Pals. Now this was a Stony Creek one and this is ages old. So uh, this I did a bit more and if you like my project bags. Glad bags. There you go. So he's getting there. He's got a mustache. I uh, haven't gone too much down to the dog yet, so I'm working on that too. That was one that I ended up losing the kit at uh, the directions at one stage and had to buy a second one, um, which means at one stage I get to do it again. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's uh, one of the Norman Rockwell pictures. Just go. Cool. I like looking at some of the different ones. I've got some beautiful things in the stash that I could do. Um, some that aren't kitted up that are absolutely beautiful. But that one's neat and it should be cool. So who knows when that might get done. Could have done that with a howling, but he didn't look like he was howling. Anyway, you guys have fun. I hope you're enjoying your stitching, and I hope you're not freezing to death, those of you in the north. Um, we're nice and dry and a bit uh, hot. But otherwise, take care and happy stitching. Choice. See you later.